the, king, the term kingdom of heaven is used 32 times in the New Testament. Every time it's used, it's in the book of Matthew. It's never used in Mark, Luke, John, or anywhere else. It's only used in the book of Matthew. Okay? The term kingdom of God is used, some say 69 times, some say 72, depending on whether there's an allusion to it or an actual phrase. But it is used in all four Gospels, the term kingdom of God, and it is used in most of the New Testament books. So the kingdom of heaven was really only used in that area, and then the kingdom of God was used pretty much everywhere else. Now, <clears throat> the only thing Jesus ever preached was the kingdom. That's it. He didn't have a backup message. He didn't have a whole bunch of messages. All right now, which, okay, we're going to look at some of these things because if you think about it, <clears throat> Jesus was an itinerant minister. He didn't stay in one place. He wasn't the rabbi over a synagogue. Okay? Which means, okay, now if he had been a rabbi over a synagogue, I'm sure he would have had to go into other scriptures and continue growing people up. But he didn't do that. He was sent on a mission. His mission was to start a movement. Yes. Right? Now, he called it a church, but he wasn't thinking what we think. Because he wasn't thinking building, steeple, all that kind of stuff. He was talking about a people, a group, the ecclesia, which was like a city council, yeah. which was actually a governmental term because he wasn't trying to do religion. The government was on his shoulders. Yes. Okay? And so he was trying to establish the kingdom of God on the earth. Now, because of that, that's all he preached. So he was able to preach that. Now, here's the beauty of it. The kingdom of God that he preached was pretty simple. His message was simple. He didn't have a whole lot of moving pieces to it. Now, if you read, you say, well, he preached you know, the kingdom, but he also preached the Sermon on the Mount. Yes, which tells a person how they are to live in the kingdom. Right? Yes. It tells, these are the attitudes you're supposed to have. This is your mindset. This is how you're supposed to think. Here's how you're supposed to live this life. And so he was sharing with them what it's like to live in this kingdom. And everything he talked about went back to the kingdom. Now, we have to remember, okay, first off, there are basically two gospels spoken of in the New Testament. We could even say three or more, actually, when we get down to it. But the others are all false. Because there's false gospels. And there's Gospels which are not the Gospel, okay? But the two Gospels that are mentioned in the Bible that are true, one is generally what we call today the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, the, there's the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and there's the Gospel of the Kingdom. Now, the Gospel of the Kingdom is the Gospel Jesus Christ preached, okay? But the Gospel of Jesus Christ was literally His incarnation, being made flesh, His life, Okay, his death, his burial, his resurrection, his ascension, and then the fulfillment yes. of all of that, which is the new creation. Amen. Okay, he did all of that to get to that point. Now, because of that, the gospel of Jesus Christ is about him and his life. Okay, now, Jesus never preached that. Okay, he preached the gospel of the kingdom. Why? Because whenever he shared with his disciples, certain things about his death and the future coming up, he said, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody anything going on. And he even hid things from them. Mm -hmm. So we have to realize Jesus did not preach the gospel of Jesus. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of Jesus Christ, which Paul preached and all the disciples preached later, was the gospel about Jesus' life, death, and burial. Everything I just mentioned, his ascension, everything. But they emphasize that this is how you get into the kingdom of God, which Jesus preached. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. And he said, the kingdom is light. The kingdom is light. The kingdom is light. He kept, that's all he preached about. But now notice, he didn't preach his, he didn't get up and say, yes, I'm going to die soon. Then I'm going to be buried. Even though he gave hints, you tear down this temple, I'll rebuild it in three days. What temple? He wasn't talking about the temple that they were standing in front of. He was talking about his body, right? right? right. And so he, he gave hints, but he didn't preach it openly. And then, as a matter of fact, if the disciples even asked him, said, why are you constantly preaching in parables? He said, because it's not given to them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. 
So I'll share it that way. He said, but to you, those of you that have left everything to follow me, you are to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Amen. And that's why you never see him explaining the parables to the crowd. Right. It was always later whenever they got to him and said, you know, explain this parable to us. Yeah. And so he pulled his disciples out and said, here's what this was. This was it. So if you want to know what the parable is talking about, keep reading. Because he always, later on, he always, he always has to explain it to his disciples. Right? right? Yep. But I want you to get a hold of this. The, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, his death, burial, resurrection, ascension, is what gets us or allows us to get into the kingdom that Jesus preached about. Right. You got that? Now, that's important because Jesus, here, here's what the world has done. Well, I said the world. Here's what the church world has done. They have gone around the world sharing one thing. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. There you go. And Jesus said, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all nations as a witness, and then the end shall come. Yes. So the end can't come until the gospel of the kingdom has been preached to all nations, ethnic groups. Right? Now, because of that, see, people say, well, where is this coming? I mean, come on, we've preached the gospel. Every nation, every nation now has the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, they do. They have the gospel of Jesus Christ. They don't have the gospel of the kingdom. Come on now. And the end won't come until the gospel of the kingdom is preached. Yes. Are you with me so far? Okay. We've, we've got to bring this thing together so that we can actually start to move into the things. So what we do, okay, when we lay hands on a sick, we are not preaching. Oh, let's put it this way. We're, we're, we're at that point, when we are laying hands on the sick, when we are cleansing the lepers, when we're raising the dead, what we are doing is we are demonstrating the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. What? What's it like to be in the kingdom? Well, let me show you. Be healed. Oh, wow. There you go. See that heal? Right there, that's kingdom. That's sick? No, no, no. Not kingdom. Sick, not kingdom. Healed, kingdom. Got it? Why? Because Jesus said, you go out. He told his disciples, you go out and you go. Okay. I don't know if you notice. I'll jump right here in the middle. Okay. You will notice my right hand thumb is in my pocket. All right? For some reason... That means something to somebody because they wrote an email. Oh, Lord. Why does your leader <laughs> preach with his hand in his pocket? <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure if I wrote back and said, what was I saying? They probably go, I don't know. I was looking at your hand in your pocket because they're not paying attention. Now, I'll tell you why my hand is in my pocket because... I'm not a trained professional. I don't do things just right the way they're supposed to be. Right? I don't know that stuff, all right? I've watched it, but that ain't me. My hand is in my pocket because I am absolutely and totally relaxed. Amen? I ain't putting on a performance. It's just who I am. You, walk, you come in here when we're just standing around talking, my thumb is in my pocket. Why? Probably because in the Air Force, they tell you, keep your hands out of your pocket. That's probably why. I'm, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. not in the Air Force no more. You know, I don't, I don't know what it is. All I know is I'm completely relaxed and I'm just sharing with you. So if my hand, you know, my thumb, it's not even my hand, it's my thumb. So if that bothers you, get in a line and we'll pray for you at the end of service. All right. Tell me. Now. See, I had to give you that moment because I know you're used to changing channels and getting the break. And all that. So now, now we're right back. You come right back to the right channel. Here we are. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. But when we are demonstrating the, well, as I was saying, when Jesus sent out his disciples, he told them, both the 12 and the 70, he said, when you go out, he said, you say, now get this, you, at one point he said, preach and then heal. Another time he said, heal and then preach. So do, do you have to preach before you can heal? No. Well, brother, you don't understand. Now, see, you've got to preach first so that people can get faith to be healed. So then what do I need faith for? Come on. So you're telling me I don't need faith? All i got to do is preach faith to somebody else, and I don't actually have to have it. But if I preach faith, they'll get healed anyway. Well, yeah, that can happen. But the bottom line is, what if they don't? And yes. if I go in, see, I don't have to wait until I don't, I don't have to get a crowd together and go, okay, now it's going to take me about 30 minutes 
to get this to you, and afterwards, you can get healed. I don't have to do that. I can walk up to a person and say, excuse me, I noticed this thing going on in your leg. What happened here? Well, I had this happen. Okay, well, you want me to show you something cool? And they're kind of like, okay. I'm like, well, first off, my name is, and I shake their hand. And then I tell them, uh, while I'm shaking your hand, your leg's getting healed. Check it out. Come on. Right? And what, did I, what did I just do? I just demonstrated the kingdom. Do you get that? Now, when I do that, I have to, I, Jesus said, tell them the kingdom of heaven has come near to you. Isn't that right? How do, how do they know it came near? They got healed. Yes, so healing yes, is the kingdom of heaven in demonstration. Yes, if you take the kingdom of heaven slash the kingdom of God, if you take that and you take it off out of the pages out of ink and put it into real life, yes, it yes. shows up in healing. Yes. Right? The kingdom in, in reality okay, is healing. The kingdom in reality is raising the dead. The kingdom in, in reality is cleansing the lepers, yes. cleansing Amen. the blood, yes. causing AIDS to disappear, causing, causing oh, babies yeah. to appear. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. That, that testimony made my day. I'm telling you, I'm just <laughs> love those kind right there. Yes. 